Okay, create nodes. HN, HNPH. This is your personal area. Under personal area, what will have personal sub area? Okay, but we'll bypass the sub area and go for employee groups. Create nodes. Field for decision operation. Um, employee group. Okay. Okay. Our employee. Our employee group is active and retiree. Okay. Active and retiree zero one and two. Okay. Active and retiree. Uh, we don't need two because that is retiree. We will not be working with that node. Okay. Under one, we'll have H E and H F create nodes. H E H H E menu. What's wrong? Where's G? T for decision operation. Employee group. Oh, okay. Okay. We don't need this. Uh, no. Employee. Create nodes. Field for decision operation. Employee subgroup. Okay. Transfer. First K. Create nodes. H E. H F. Okay. We delete this. And we'll delete this. Okay. Now, save. Activate. Oh, okay. Uh, number range. Okay. Yeah. Create nodes and return value. Zero two. Zero. Now, this is the number range we have to save. 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 Okay, after this, now features have been added and it has been activated also. Personal, personal administration, um, organizational data, organizational assignment. Now this is the next node, define employee attributes. Country grouping is 10, which is USA. Okay. And over here, we have active HN01, HENF, uh, and we'll try to find out A. Okay. No. 
this is basically where the employee status is defined. What is the status of activity? If you press F1 over here, it will show us the legends. Legend is one is active employee, two is retiree, early retiree, and we actually give grading. Grading, okay. And employee status. What is the employee status? F1. Employment status, industrial worker, paid worker, salaried employee, civil servant, other. Okay. I'll have to cut short the lecture here now and uh, we'll continue from here. Okay.